Wendy Davis is lashing out. Now the candidate for Texas governor is at war with Rush Limbaugh and Greg Abbott. This after a list of big blunders. The candidate called out for lying about her past and accused of going after her Republican opponent, not for his politics, but because he's in a wheelchair. And Rush Limbaugh is not having any of it. This is the, uh, this is the woman that made a big, big splash. Filibustering an anti-abortion law in Texas. And so she became an immediate star in the Democrat Party in Texas. And they began pushing her for higher orifice. But the problem is, she's a leftist, and therefore there is fraud and deceit woven through her life story, which it has been discovered now has some issues. It seems, when you boil it all down, that Wendy Davis would have ended up being really poor and destitute were it not for a man. But that's no problem. They just made stuff up. They worked for Obama. Well, the Wendy Davis campaign firing back both at Limbaugh and Abbott. Greg Abbott's campaign desperately attacked Wendy's story after we outraised them last week. I think we have them scared. They'll try anything, including the typical dirty tricks we're all tired of. And then continued, Rush Limbaugh in one of his infamous outbursts joined in on the attacks. We always knew we'd face some vicious attacks, but this goes beyond the normal political nonsense. These are personal. Davis's opponent, Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott, joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. Great to be with you. Fine. It's great to have you. So what in the world is going on between you and Wendy Davis and uh, Rush Limbaugh? It's gotten particularly uh, vitriolic. Uh, well, Greta, it's gotten even more bizarre over the last couple of days. Uh, first, uh, the underlying story that Rush was talking about was actually a, a, an article written by a reporter for the Dallas Morning News that I had nothing to do with. But what's happened over the last couple of days is goes from bizarre to almost laughable. Uh, what happened is that a group of campaign activists for Wendy Davis uh, came out and actually mocked the disabled, mocked people who use wheelchairs. And as you know, because I've been there on your set, I happen to be in a wheelchair because of an accident uh, that left me needing to use a wheelchair that crushed my spine. But then, Greta, what happened, uh, it's gone viral over the last couple of days because these so-called truthers have come out questioning whether or not I really need to use a wheelchair, despite the fact that I've been in one for 30 years now. And so uh, the reality, Greta, is that there's all this back and forth going on, and I think it's a prelude to what's about to happen in this race in Texas for the next nine months that matters deeply to your audience. And that right, is, there really is a, there is a battle for the future of Texas and the future of America taking place in this race for governor in Texas. All right, I'll tell you what, something that bothers me. I went through all of this stuff today. I even looked at some of the personal assaults, not from you, but from uh, someone else, some, some conservative person on Wendy Davis that I thought was bad, and I blogged about it. But on, on, like, on, her, on websites associated with her campaign, it says things like, Wendy needs us standing with her. Stand up with Wendy, Texas rally. And I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit sensitive, but I actually, I think that's code, standing up. I actually think if I were running against someone who was in a wheelchair, the la I would be mortified if the word standing appeared in any of my literature, only on the off chance that I might hurt someone who's in a wheelchair or say something to people who are disabled. And yet I, I don't see that she's ever disavowed it. And there I have pictures of people with signs standing up for Wendy. And I know she had that filibuster. But still, um, do you think that they are mocking you with those remarks, or do you think it's coincidental? Well, uh, Greta, the deal is there was this film, uh, an undercover film that was recorded by James O'Keefe that surfaced late last week, showing her supporters in a room quite literally laughing at people with disabilities. So we know for a fact that they are mocking those with disabilities. And of course, uh, that's unworthy of what we stand for here in Texas, where we believe in the quality of the character of an individual as opposed to any kind of superficial appearances. 
Well, I would think that if I, if I were Wendy Davis and all this was sort of swirling around me, this whole idea of mocking someone with disabilities, I guess I, I would make a statement. I would make a very public statement. I would condemn anyone who was, a, was insensitive, who might be using a caught on taper, even, or I would even apologize for the inartful use of particular words that may have an, another meaning or something. But it's just, it's just too coincidental that I find it in so much of this you know, uh, uh, campaign information about her. That's the problem. Well, I, I think I know why they are doing this, Greta, and that's because uh, Senator Davis knows that if she has to run on the issues in the state of Texas, that's a loser for her. She supports Obamacare. I'm against Obamacare. Uh, I'm for energy production. She's for embracing the Obama-style EPA practices in Texas. And so she's a dead loser on the issues that matter most to Texans. And so her only hope is to get caught up in all these kind of ridiculous arguments that are taking place right now. Well, um, uh, you know, it, it is disheartening when a race, uh, you know, gets to that point. Um, but anyway, Attorney General, nice to see you, sir. You too, Greta. Thanks.